things that you would need to change the oil will be the oil will be hot so hey guys welcome back to the channel here i am again with another how to video and this video will be all about changing your own oil it will be like a beginner's guide for you guys you can do this on your own and save a lot of money and uh, here is the bike it's uh, warming up at the moment because you need to warm up the engine before you change the oil yeah i know it's very dirty just warm it for around uh, 5 to 10 minutes just keep it idle for 10 minutes and then you can change the oil and the things that you would need to change the oil will be a catch can like a 5 liter can would be good this is another screw driver and ratchet set these are some keys i'm not sure what they are called but these are the keys that are required a brush to clean uh, the parts that come out a 3 bond to make a gasket this is another 8 mm uh key this is a funnel uh these are very important these are copper washers i got it from royal enfield service center this is an oil filter and the most important thing is this 2 and 1/2 liter can of oil and last but not the least kerosene to clean everything now put a rag or a cloth like this to lie down on the ground and just keep your catch can ready so whenever you will do an oil change you will see three drain areas at the bottom of the oil sump this is the primary drain bolt it's like uh, the size 19 these are 2 8 mm and this is the strainer cap here comes the third one this is for the clutch side oil i think it's a, it's a 12 number one so you need to open all the three to clean it properly let's crack it open the oil will be hot so just let it flow drag it open that's it so this is this is the 19 number bolt these are 8 mm and this is 12 that's all you need let it trip for about half an hour and i know i've created a lot of messes just because of the wind oil is going in a different direction in the meanwhile let's open the air filter you need kerosene to clean these parts
Now it's time to put everything back. First with the oil filter. Comes with the O-ring. Like this. Put the first O-ring inside. Put the oil filter. Like this. Put this O-ring here. Insert one screw. requires this paste so we'll puncture it from here once it's a bit dry keep it like this here then insert the second one Now it's time to tighten everything. Start with the one at the back. That's it. You should not tighten these too much because this is all aluminium and it will strip off. The last part would be to fill the oil, so we need like a funnel here and this oil, this entire can will go in. to start the vehicle to check for any leaks okay. the window is full now keep the vehicle running for about uh, 5 to 10 minutes and then check at the bottom for any leaks The next time your bike needs an oil change, you know what to do. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video guys. Press the like button if you like the video or the dislike button if you didn't like the video for some reason. Press the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.